my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny, where we cover lots of random topics around here. This is actually a very highly requested video. If you guys watch the weekend vlogs, you know that my favorite shoe in the entire world is the Converse Shoreline. You guys know my life is very compartmentalized, meaning Monday through Thursday, Sunday through Thursday, I'm like hardcore mom mode. Jeans, t-shirt, sneakers. On the weekend, if it's just Parker and I and we're doing chores around the house, it's sneakers. If we're going on date night, then that's when I bring out the pumps that, in, you know, that injure me and I need a panty liner. If you don't, you haven't been here long enough. Like if you don't know that story, it's an OG panda story that probably only means something to like half of you. <laughs> but you guys know that I wear these suckers a ton. And in fact, Parker's daughters are also fans of the Converse family. These are shoes that are so comfy. However, they get dirty real quick. And every time that I have them in a vlog, you guys ask me, why are they so white and are they new? And here I am to prove to you how many times they've been washed. You guys see the rubber is already splitting. The little grommets are already worn out. You could see how much wear there is on the heel. So they are far from being new. And today we are going to wash them together. This is how I make them look new is because I like to wash them. And I actually asked my bonus daughter if I could wash hers for the purpose of this video. Taryn's shoes are these and she wears these to work where she is handling food. She's working around a lot of athletic teams. And you can see her shoes are a lot newer than mine. Do you see the shine on her grommets? Hers have never been washed before. These are mine. I've washed them several times and you can see how dull the grommets are. I kind of like the way that mine look, huh? <laughs> I had never noticed the big difference. So we're gonna go from super, super dirty Converse to brand new, crisp, clean, and white. And I'm gonna walk you guys through the process step by step. I use all natural products and I also use non-natural products depending on how clean I want to get the shoes. So let's go to my laundry room. All right, you guys. So it doesn't matter how dirty or how clean they are. I tend to go around the same or use the same types of products. The first one and the best one and probably the only one that you need is Shout. Shout is one of my favorites because I have little boys at home. I have dogs. They tend to get into a lot of messes and this stuff works really, really well. If you wanted a more natural alternative to Shout, the Ecover Stain Remover is actually a really good product. It has like a little bristle cap. So you squeeze the product and then you can also scrub at the same time if you like to do that. So it gives you a more like interactive use versus the Shout that's just a spray. If you have really, really stubborn stains, Nelly's Wow Stick is a great product, but you do have to wet the stick or the surface first before you start scrubbing. If you have a few stains on your sneakers and you kind of want to hold off on washing them, you can just use a spray like this. This is an all natural, non-toxic spray that is magic. You could have the oldest stain in the world on the carpet in a rug and you spray this on there, it disappears. It literally disappears. This is the Miss Mounts Messy Eater Stain Treater. It has a little bit of a scent to it, almost like vinegar, so uh, be advised. And then obviously you can't go wrong with a uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. This is really good for stuff like the tips of your chucks. If you really get in there, with a um, magic eraser. Like you saw how little effort I just put into these right now and then look at the difference. So it's a, it's, it really is magic you guys. So what I like to do is I like to do the rubber part of the sneakers first. This is something that is not gonna get wider by spraying Shout on it. It's something that's not gonna get wider by putting any of this product on it. It's only gonna get white if you actually do the physical labor of scrubbing it. So take your magic eraser and start losing your breath. <laughs> Okay. 
after you've cleaned all the plastic on the shoes themselves, you can look for any stubborn stains that you know Shout isn't going to take out. So for me, there's this little red mark here. I'm not sure where it came from, but I'm gonna hope that this stain treater takes it out. So I'm just gonna put a little spray of that. Then I'm gonna completely saturate these shoes in Shout. I mean, soak them. The entire surface of the shoe is gonna be soaked in Shout. These used to be bright white, can you believe that? So soak, 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 inside and out. Laces, edges, heels, everything. the whitening of these shoes the most effective are two things. Letting them soak for a while in the shout or whatever stain remover you're using and also making sure to launder them with other whites. I take my son's bedding or sheets which will help from making so much noise in the washer and then I'm also going to add some Oxy any kind of oxy will do. This is just the container that I'm using. The one that's in here at the moment is Molly Suds. I love this stuff. I order it through Thrive Market and sometimes I'll use the Nellies. So these two are really good brands that I recommend. They're all natural as well. So they're like baking soda, things like that. I just put them in this container. So I'm gonna put some oxy in my washer. I'm going to add some stain remover. This is bleach free, so it's not going to bleach your clothes. Put a little bit of that in there. Whatever detergent you like to use, just a little splash of that, depending on how big your load is. So I'm going to put all of that in the washer. Then I'm going to take the soaked sneakers and I'm gonna place them in the washer and then I'm going to put the washer on a timed delay. So all of our washers usually have a delay. So I'm gonna put it on power wash, which is as hot as it gets. Make sure to select Oxy, extra rinse, and deep clean on the hottest setting. And I'm going to delay it for four hours. So in four hours is when the washer is gonna start and it's gonna start washing the sneakers. I'll show you what they look like when they come out, and then I'll also show you what they look like once they're dry. All right, you guys, so a little bit of a recap. We are currently soaking the sneakers, so you wanna make sure, always make sure that you're using a stain remover, a brightening agent, that you wash at the highest setting, but that you also wash with other items in the washer so that you don't damage your appliance, and soak. Soak as long as you want to soak. I would say a minimum of three to four hours, overnight if possible, and then tomorrow, I'll look different, I'll be dressed different, I'll have a different face on, but I'm gonna show you guys the after, what it looks like. I let mine air dry for a day or two, but you could also put them in the dryer with that tray that most dryers come with. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll show you guys what the after looks like. to this video and I washed the sneakers. I wanted to show you guys the final product. I've actually already worn mine. I couldn't wait to do this video. So here is the difference from the way they were before to how they are now. I told you guys I washed mine and uh, Taryn's shoes. And so here's the thing and what's important to remember is 
It depends a lot on what kind of stains you have on your shoes. It depends a lot on where they're worn. For example, mine are always going to be a lot wider because I just use them around the house or if I run errands with the boys or like my mom's shoes. Taryn actually works in a facility where she handles food or meals or things like that in customer service and she is on her toes and feet all day long. Factor in the kinds of stains that are on your shoes. Factor in what kind of cleansers you like to have at your house. So for example, we buy Oxy and Shout, but we also use the Molly Suds or the other one, Nellie's. I recently ordered Branch Basics, which I'm so excited to try. They have amazing reviews. So factor in how they're used, how this, what kind of stains are on there, and then there's different tricks you can do. So for example, on mine, I spray them with Shout, let them soak and then run them through a white cycle with all my linens, my whites or whatever, and I dry them standing up in a windowsill. The window doesn't need to be open, but you want the water to drain out on the open part of the sneaker. So never like this, because you'll get pool of water in here and it'll get moldy and gross. So always standing up like this. With Terrence, because hers get a little more dirty, I don't know if you guys can see there, it's important to spray them with whatever stain remover you're using, whether it's Shout or a non-toxic variety, and then dust oxygen booster, Oxy or Nellie's or any kind of whitening soda directly onto the shoe, let them soak and then run them through the white wash. So you want that direct contact of the Oxy. With mine, I usually just spray them with Shout. I let them sit for a few hours while I do my dark load and while I do my delicate load and then finally I'll do my whites and that's usually enough. But with Terrans, if you take that extra step of putting the Oxy or the Oxygen Booster on the shoe, it does lift a lot better. So you guys can tell they're super, 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 super white. And also if you guys don't wanna go through the trouble of running them through the wash, if you literally just take a magic eraser with a little bit of water and clean the plastic, just that brightening alone will give your shoes a complete facelift. So I know I talked about this before and I've talked about sneakers before and I talk about why mine are so white even though they're so old. I really hope you guys found this video useful. I will list and link the products that I used in this particular video and all of the ones I've mentioned have that I've mentioned having used before in the description box so that you can kind of tailor them to the kind of stains you have, the kind of choices of cleaning products that you guys make for your household. And then definitely I will update you guys in a future video after trying Branch Basics. But that's it. I hope you guys found this video useful. I hope my many multiple outfit changes and looks did not confuse you, but it's a process. Hello?